Yeah. Um, moving on, Kolasinac has gone on loan to Schalke, where he came to us from on a free transfer. Yeah. Apparently, they're paying his wages, which are a allegedly 125 grand a week but we got him on a free wow. transfer so you know you yeah, amortize yeah, that, that over the contract higher, yeah. um but when he comes back he'll have 12 months left so yeah. it's the sort of make or break time where you either get a little bit of money or nothing because he goes he's mm-hmm. been a very 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 sporadically used player yeah. he and i think when he's played he's been at center back like the left-sided center back rather than um, as a sort of left winger bombing down the left flank like we did under Emery well, under Arteta yeah it's been a lot like that so what do you think about Kolasinac what do you think the future holds what's your opinion buy sell I think I think the problem you've got is a lot with a lot of the Kolasinac players Mustafis all of them Ozil sort of players is you're not no one's bidding for them. They're, they're going out on loan and they're saving us a couple of million. He's not, the thing is to the clash now, he's, he's not getting anywhere near the first team. Apart from like two free freak injuries in the same position, he's not getting anywhere near the first team. Um, the smart thing is you're getting a couple of million in wages paid by Schalke, I'm pretty sure. Um, and also you're, you're getting, potentially if Schalke are happy, they might bid three or four five million at the most to get him so there's it, it makes sense for Arsenal because he's not going to get in the team you're going to get a little bit of money from him from obviously his wage them paying his wages and potentially um them wanting to keep him at Schalke come the end of the season if he performs quite well for them and obviously you've got the the added boost of him already playing for them so he's already quite close with the club so they are the more likely like club to actually want to buy him at the end of his loan um, but at this point, we've got to, we've got to see how it goes. Um, we need to trim up our squad a lot, and I think there's gonna there's a lot of players obviously leaving for free come this summer. So it's going to be a healthy healthy trim of the squad. We're going to save a lot of money and wages that hopefully we can use for for transfers. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot of deadwood at Arsenal, and I'm happy that he's gone for now. And I think obviously, and one one big thing I'd say about Klasnach is he worked hard and. He's not the best technically gifted player and he's not he's definitely not the best player in the world, but he gave a hundred percent for Arsenal. And also I think we've got to big up the fact that he protected Meza Ozil that time. When I was gonna say he attacked. goes down as a legend so for that clip. I think hand in hand, like he is a player that I wish the best and he gave everything for the club. Um it's sad that it didn't work out the way we wanted to, but I think I've got the utmost respect for Sid Klasinac. Yeah, I hate it when you see fans like going, oh, good riddance, good riddance. I mean, you can be like, yeah, it didn't work out. But you can never be like, I hate you. Because There's one person that's not saying that, so it's all, trust me. We won't speak on, on, on the big O. I just want to say that it frustrates me when people are like, ah, oh, get out of our club. Da, 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 da. When, as far as we know, and as far as I could see... People like Kolasinac always put 100% in on the pitch. He threw up once 100%. on the side of the pitch because he went on such a mental yeah. run. Um, he put it all on the line. It didn't work out. I but I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know we'll that's give him credit. We'll just say he ran yeah, his yeah, lungs yeah. off. He, he we'll went, give him he, the benefit of the he doubt. He went through that wall. He pushed through that wall. We'll give him that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legend. And so I don't like departing and being like, oh, this guy's left. I hate him now. He doesn't play for us anymore. I wish him all the best. Credit to him for going to Schalke, who are bottom of the league. Um, because that's yep. a challenge in itself. He's not gone after glory. He's not oh, they going. They haven't, they haven't won in like twenty-eight games. I haven't been twenty-eight. I haven't been keeping up to the Bundesliga. They oh, are. Because I think it was the old, um, the old Huddersfield Town manager was there, weren't he? That Wagner, they've cycled through like four that? managers already. Yeah, since. I, I think I remember seeing about that. Oh, he got sacked a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's crazy. So he's gone to the bottom of the Bundesliga. We'll see what he can do. Uh, so I wish you all the best, you might be the match. Man. Yeah, 100%. Um, if it doesn't work out, then sorry, mate. We'll see you in the second Bundesliga league next season because <laughs> uh, I don't think you're coming back to Arsenal under yeah. Arteta. But I wish you the best. Um, we're very happy with Tierney and For sure. we'll have to proceed with Tierney down the left flank. Well, the thing is, if, if Kolasinac plays better, we might not sign Tierney. And I'm not saying because Kolasinac probably won't. Four <laughs> D chess, right there. <laughs> yeah, but Kolasinac might not ever get to the level of Tierney. But if he did well enough, we don't sign Tierney. Maybe. Do you know what I mean? So it is one of them uh, relief things, obviously. Um, 